lower. We are Simple Living of Grid and in the beginning of 2022 we sold our house and left the Netherlands. After a few months of traveling we found ourselves a beautiful valley in central Portugal. Just before summer we moved on our land and we started our off-grid journey. Without much experience we started to build everything ourselves, learning and growing as we go. Follow our journey Living of Grid in central Portugal. Welcome back at Simple Living of Grid. Look what's back. We have sun again. I'm actually standing in the shade because that's better to film. <sighs> that's so nice to actually finally feel the sun back. It's so much better. It changed the mood, it changed the land. And yeah, it's a good start of the new year. Also a good start of the new year is that our tractor is going to be delivered in about 40 minutes. So we are going off the land with our family and then uh, bring a tractor to our house, which is very exciting. We cannot drive it on our land around because the soil is still too soft at this point. But this week will be dry and who knows how the next weeks will be. And uh, then we can use our tractor for bringing a lot of trees and stuff down uh, and where we want them. Ready? Yes. Let's go. How did that happen? It's soft black bear. How did that happen, guys? Aww. So Arend is learning how to drive a tractor and a lady in the village, she saw us and she has a lot of grandchildren and they have clothes they don't wear anymore and they came with jackets. So that's... <laughs> everybody's happy. Uh, it's such a blessing to have people here that you know, forgiving and loving and I see Aaron driving now. <laughs> We just drove back from the village where we picked up the, the new tractor and it was a fantastic experience just to sit on your new tractor and with, with your face in the sun, with, it's a beautiful day and just driving through the Portuguese fields, it's a, <laughs> it's a great experience, it was really fun. Hi there. Hi. 
you like it, Yannick? Yes, I do. So awesome. I ran the one in there. Our new toy. Yes. Can I uh, learn it now? No. It? Now, I run it. I didn't like it very much. How do we call this? This is the lady box, the lady bucket. Because everywhere we go, <laughs> we see we see this old couple with a with a man driving the tractor and with his wife in the bucket. In the box. <laughs> in the box. <laughs> so yes, it's called the lady, uh, the box. Lady, lady box. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The old lady box. I'm not old, so not that's yet. a good thing. Yeah. Right. That's a very good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we will. Grow that's old. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just put me in there. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. For the next 40 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of it, Neora? A tractor. A tractor. Cool, eh? Is it awesome? Climb in, honey. Can you make it? One, two. Grab the steering wheel. That's okay. Steer. Steer. Come on. Pak het stuur maar. Good girl. You made it in. Tomorrow I'm bringing the car to the garage for a big checkup. It's having some issues. I hope it's not that bad. I don't know how long they will be busy with it. So I'm bringing the bike with me. So I'll be able to move around and visit some shops. Um, the bikes are still up there from when we arrived in May. So I have to figure out <laughs> how to get them off. <laughs> hope I still remember. Good morning everyone, it's still early, it's very cold, in the morning the sun has to rise above that hill to warm everything up. So right now everything is still a bit frozen and it's time to uh, put the bike in the car and head into town. As you can see, I have to scratch my windows first. I just took the water out. Okay, we have to take care of our buckets and clean them before because it's really getting cold now in the night. I mean, it's obviously very nice to have the sun back, but in the mornings it just is cold. It was, I think, minus 
uh, last night. Yeah, well, I'm sure everything is frozen. This is also weather in winter in Portugal. Super nice. This winter, I love the cold weather. To be honest with you, I like the uh, sun, I like the heat, or till some point, but I definitely also like the cold weather. I love seasons and what comes with it. Um, so we are enjoying this winter now. I'm going to take out the chickens and let them free. Oh, and see if they need water and everything. Funny part, I don't know if you can see, but there's steam coming up from the well. That's because the water in the well is still warm. Uh, so that's really nice <laughs> and a funny experience. The first time you have that, getting water out of the well and like, oh, it's really warm. While, yeah, the temperature is the same, just the outside temperature is just really cold. Good morning, Nayara. It's cold here. Yeah, it's cold, right? Do you have a nice jacket? Are you warm? Yes. Oh, that's so nice. I haven't been uploading much wildlife content. I, we saw, as you know, some of you know, we have a wildlife camera on our land. The batteries were empty and we couldn't recharge them because of their <laughs> lack of sun. And we have to recharge other more important things than the wildlife camera. Also, I have to relocate the wildlife camera because this valley is protected by Dutch, so not much animals are coming on this land. We don't see any traces of the wild boar on this part anymore, so that's a good sign. I mean, we know the wild boar is around and it's okay, they are here, but we prefer them not here in the valley where we live and where we try to build and create things. So it's good to have a dog, um, good to know with the wildlife camera and with what we see is that it really gets really quiet here. But I'm going to relocate the wildlife camera, charge the batteries and relocate it on uh, higher up on our land, on the mountain part, because there are still traces of the wild boar and just see what is happening around there. That is that it's quite simple to remove it and to open it as well on the side. We bought ours at Decathlon and um, I don't know if it's in your region also available, but um, yeah, we are very happy with it. Uh, just to know what is happening and going around on our land. Neora, what are you doing? Playing with the water. Playing with the water. What, what is that? What are you cleaning? I clean my tractors. Oh, wow, well done. Show me how you do it. Oh, wow, that cat's really clean. Oh, good job, Neora. Now you let them dry in the sun? Or not? No. No? We went to the town uh, today, to, uh, to the garage. Uh, they didn't really do that much yet. They wanted to take apart the front wheel and the rear back wheel because they think it is it starts to shake because of the brakes and all but they didn't have time to do that today so they wanted me to come back tomorrow hopefully the car doesn't have to stay overnight because then I have to rent a car to go back home and all um, so we'll have to see how that goes on what also happened today I got pulled over by the GNR like the Portuguese uh, highway patrol, <laughs> as we call them. 
Um, they did a general checkup uh, to do um, an alcohol test, a breathalyzer, and they checked if all my paperwork were in order, like my driver's license and the, the ownership card, and they checked if I had the emergency triangle and the yellow vest, all the technicalities. It was all okay except for one. I didn't have my uh, technical inspection uh, documentation in order. I, I had it at home. <laughs> so uh, I got a 60 euro fine for not having it with me. So that was bad. <laughs> uh, so yes, we found it and put it in the proper place behind the window. I have to take out these little cards and put it in the little plastic bags behind the window. That's what we're supposed to do. We are up on our land now at the pine forest part, as you can see. And the URI is with me. We are going to give the wildlife camera a new spot on our land. Um, I'm going to show you around here. I think you can see here, but and all there. enough traces of wildlife. This is uh, going to be the new place. Dutch is not always going here. I mean, maybe in the beginning of the evening, but during the night he stays in the valley. But during the cold nights, because now it's minus two, three, sometimes during the night he stays in the motorhome because it's just really that cold. Um, so the wild boar and other wild animals are on our land, but well, as far as we can see now, they haven't been in our valley still, so that's good. But our wildlife camera is going up and we'll see what we can share with you in the near future. The camera is up, I'm going to work on the settings so it will turn on when I want it to turn on. It's actually very easy, you just open it. And I hope I'm able to share the menu with you. You actually have a menu button. You have photo setting, a video setting, and manual mode. Uh, you go for video mode, and then turn OK, and it says switch on, and I switch it on. You cannot see it very well, um, but it is actually very easy. You can also switch it on to manual mode. Um, that you can make settings uh, when you don't check that often and then it doesn't film that often or shoot photos that often uh, but we check every week so it's fine or even less in a few days so it's fine if it's you know taking more footage um, yeah we like that too Good morning, we're going to leave you with a little bit of a cliffhanger here. The car has been in Castello Branco for two days and I came home with the car twice. We still don't really know what's going on. They haven't been able to check anything. So that's a bit of a bummer. Even though we had an appointment and all was scheduled, we had to wait a week for the appointment and now still nothing is done. But uh, that's not the only thing. Arend has to go to Castello Branco again today with Dutch. He completely collapsed yesterday again. I um, 
he's not doing well. He has to stay in again. He hasn't been eating, drinking, and he's not able to stand up. And sorry, I'm check where I walk. <laughs> so that's uh, also really not good news. Other than that, we do fine. It's nice, cold, sun is out, and we are, yeah, kind of enjoying our days working and living here. But we can miss these things because it's taking a lot of time of building and creating when we constantly have to be or drive to Castello Branco. Um, so yeah, gonna leave you there. Hope we have some good news next video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to our journey and love to have you around. For now, we're going to say goodbye.